Hello, today we gonna talk about the Shadowhunter as an alt. Before the video start, don't pay too much attention to the game language, it's because I have another channel for Lost Ark in French, so sometimes I put my game in French, and other times in English. I will put my game in English for the next video, I promise. Anyway, we all know having alts in Lost Ark is very important if you want to have some good progress on your main. With alts, you can have more golds, more mats, and you can send all of that into your main or you can keep it for more alts progression. But what is the point to make a Shadow Hunter as an alt? What is the benefits to do it? In this video, I'm gonna answer those questions and I'm gonna give you four reasons to make one or an entire roster of Shadow Hunters if you really like it. The first reason is very simple. Potions are really important in the game and all means to save them are good to take. The Shadow Hunter have a transformation which give 20% health points every time you use it. The transformation come back really fast you just need one rotation to have it again. Take note that the more specialization you have, the more the transformation will be back faster. This system allow you to keep your potions in chaos dungeons for example. The mobs will hit you, you take the damage, and then you transform, and it's like you didn't take any damage because you gain 20% health every time you transform. Even in raids, transformation can save your life. When you become the demon, you have a short time when you are immune to cross control, you can use this, for preventing dead in Valtan for example. If he try to push you outside the ring, you can transform at the right time and not die. Be careful though, the timer is really short. Gems are really expensive, if you want to buy full level 5 gems on an alt, you will pay something like 8k gold. Of course, we are not doing this because normally, we have already gems on our alts. Something interesting with the Shadow Hunter is that she need only two gems. The gem which increase the damage of the demon's skills and the other which increase the cooldown reduction of the demon's skills. The difference between the Shadow Hunter and the other class is that the gem increase all demon's skills damage. On the other hand, something like Sorceress need every damage gems for every skills. Now, imagine if you have six Shadow Hunters, you can make insane cost reductions. Every other's gems for human form skills are not mandatory because with one rotation in human form you can transform already and there is a huge difference between human form damage and demon damage the human skills are just here as a filler you just want to transform again and that's it the majority of your dps will come from demon form the third reason is spells the shadow hunter is not like the other classes she is not better with level 12 spells at level 60. Of course she will do a little bit more DPS, but is not mandatory to have those at level 12. If you take a sorceress for example, if she have level 12 skills, she will make way better damage than level 10 or 11 skills. Well, for Shadow Hunter, is not the same. Simply because as I say earlier, the DPS will come from demon form skills. And those skills can't be upgraded, they stay the same, all time. So, this is not a problem if you are a bit lazy for skill point potions, you can have them more later if you have an entire roster of shadow hunters. I don't know you, but I kinda hate horizontal content to be honest, is not my definition of an MMO and I almost don't do it at all. And here we go, the last reason is simply the gameplay. The shadow hunter is an excellent class, and very fun to play. Her mobility is insane, and her damage when she is in demon form are really good. You have a counter every 4 seconds, when you are in demon form. This short cooldown will allow you to do any boss counter mechs. On top of that, you have 20% move speed until you are in demon, and your skills have very short cooldown. This will change you into a little rocket, with some last generation atomic reactor. The only reason why my roster is not composed by 6 shadow hunter, is because when I started the game, I didn't have the knowledge about the class and the game in general. But honestly if I would do it again, I will 100% make an entire roster of shadow hunters. Now I can say to you guys, it is very good if you want to keep your money to play the same class. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it, if it is you can push that like button. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Lost Ark content, coming soon.